Extreme sports are an indispensable activity for adrenaline lovers. However, these sports also carry the risk of serious injury or death. Here are 10 extreme sports that can kill you. Number 10. Paragliding. Paragliding is an extreme sport in which you jump from a cliff or a high place and glide through the air with the help of a parachute. This sport is preferred by adventure enthusiasts who are not afraid of heights. Doing this sport using high cliffs or mountain slopes means enjoying unique views and experiencing free flight using air currents. However, paragliding is a sport that carries serious dangers as well as all these beauties. Although this sport offers spectacular views and an adrenaline-filled experience, it carries the risk of serious injury or death. Paragliding is highly dependent on weather conditions. Wind speed and direction, thermals, wind swells and other weather factors have a major impact on the safety of flight. Sudden changes in wind strength or direction can cause pilots to lose control. The equipment used for this sport is of great importance. Parachutes and equipment must be properly maintained and checked. Equipment failure can cause serious accidents. Flights at high altitudes carry the risk of oxygen deficiency and hypoxia. Low oxygen levels at high altitudes can cause pilots to lose consciousness. Factors such as wind pockets, thermals, acrobatics, and close contact with other pilots can lead to unexpected hazards during flight. Number 9. Mountain Biking Mountain biking is an extreme sport that involves cycling over rough terrain. This sport originated in the United States in the 1970s and has grown in popularity ever since. Although this sport offers spectacular views and an adrenaline-filled experience, it also carries the risk of serious injury or death. One of the biggest dangers of mountain biking is crashes. Cycling at high speeds over rough terrain increases the risk of accidents and injuries. Crashes can cause arm and leg fractures, head trauma, and even death. When cycling on rough terrain, there is always the risk of slipping and falling. This can cause injuries or even death. In the mountains, cyclists may encounter rocks, trees, and other natural obstacles. These obstacles may cause collisions or injuries. However, weather conditions may vary. Weather conditions such as rain, snow, and storms can make cycling dangerous. Prolonged cycling can cause fatigue and inattention. This may cause accidents and injuries. It is important for people who want to mountain bike to receive the necessary training and use the appropriate equipment. These measures can significantly reduce the risk of accidents. Number 8. Kayak Slalom Kayak slalom is an extreme water sport that aims to reach a goal by sliding between slalom gates or poles while speeding through streams or rivers. This sport requires both speed and agility and is often part of exciting competitions. However, this sport also brings with it many dangers. Kayak slalom takes place on the rapids of streams or rivers. Current and water conditions can change quickly, making control difficult for kayakers. Kayakers run the risk of getting stuck under the current. This may cause the kayak to spin and become stuck. Kayakers may encounter other kayakers along the trail. These collisions can cause damage to the canoes or cause the canoes to overturn. There is a risk of the canoes damaging cliffs, trees, or other obstacles. This can be dangerous for both the racers and the equipment. Streams or rivers may not be shallow, and objects or currents under the water can pose a danger to kayakers. Analyzing the course and making a good plan before the competition can reduce the chances of making mistakes. Although kayak slalom is an exciting water sport, it can be dangerous without proper training and safety precautions. Number 7. Caving. Caving, also known as caving or spelunking, is an adventure sport that aims to explore natural formations such as underground caves, tunnels, cavities, and underground passages. This sport offers the opportunity to explore unknown worlds beneath the Earth's surface, but it also involves serious dangers. Stalactites, stalagmites, crystals and other unique formations can be found inside caves. Caves vary in their degree of complexity. Simple caves may be suitable for those without more experience, while advanced caving may involve complex tunnels, siphons and cramped passages. Caves vary in degree of complexity. Simple caves may be suitable for those without more experience, while advanced caving may involve complex tunnels, siphons and cramped passages. Lighting inside caves is often limited. Failure of flashlights or running out of batteries can increase the risk of divers getting lost in a cave. 
The floors in caves can often be slippery, muddy, or uneven. This increases slip and fall hazards. Cave walls and ceilings may frequently contain loose stones or rocks. Falling these stones can cause injuries. Some caves may contain cramped passages, siphons, and tunnels. There is a risk of getting stuck or shortness of breath in these areas. Air problems such as faster depletion of air in the cave or formation of denser gas mixtures create a risk of poisoning. Number 6. Wingsuit Flying Wingsuit flying is an exciting activity among extreme sports enthusiasts. This sport involves flying at high speed during free fall with a special clothing called wingsuit. This suit is equipped with a diver-like wing structure and increases body aerodynamics, enabling controllable flights over long distances. Although wingsuit flying offers a fascinating and free experience, it comes with serious dangers. Inadequate training can cause divers to lose control or perform dangerous maneuvers. Wingsuit flights occur at extremely high speeds. This limits the time to detect and react to rapidly approaching obstacles. Good planning is essential for the safety of wingsuit flights. High speeds and long distances increase the difficulty of determining a suitable landing point and maneuvering correctly during landing. Wingsuit divers may flip or spin due to an unstable body position or wing control. This can lead to dangerous falls. Wind speed and direction greatly affect wingsuit flights. Changing weather conditions may cause divers to lose control. If more than one diver flies in the same area during wingsuit flights, the risk of collision increases. Number 5. Surfing. Surfing is known as a popular water sport that aims to slide on sea waves with boards. Surfing aims not only to do sports, but also to connect with the sea and enjoy nature. However, this extreme sport also has serious dangers and challenges. Surfing is about sea waves, and these waves can have great power. Surfers run the risk of being trapped beneath the waves or being rolled over by the waves. Marine weather conditions such as wind speed, sea wave size, and water temperature have a huge impact on the safety of surfing. Rapid change in weather conditions may cause athletes to encounter unexpected situations. It is difficult to stay balanced on the surfboard and maintain balance in the waves. Loss of balance can lead to falls or risk of accident. Surfing requires proper training. Inadequate training can pose risks to those who do not know wave movements and safe surfing techniques. Hundreds of species of creatures live in the sea, and some of them can be dangerous to humans. There is a risk of encountering jellyfish, sharks, and other sea creatures. Number 4. Snowboarding. Snowboarding is a sport preferred by winter sports enthusiasts to have an exciting experience in snow-covered mountains. Snowboarding involves sliding on a single board, maintaining balance and performing various acrobatic movements. Although this sport offers magnificent views and an adrenaline-filled experience, it also carries the risk of serious injury or death. Injuries in snowboarders are quite common. Elements such as falls, collisions and difficult slopes increase athletes' risk of injury. Common injuries include ankle sprains, knee injuries, and fractures. Snow conditions are an important factor for snowboarders. Factors such as poorly maintained runways, hard or icy snow surfaces, lack of visibility, and encountering fog can cause accidents. Weather conditions such as snowstorms, wind, and dense fog can affect the safety of snowboarders. Here the variability of weather conditions can lead to instability. Different slopes affect the snowboarder's experience. Steep slopes, rocky areas and dense trees can be dangerous. Snowboarders have the risk of falling as a result of loss of balance or technical errors. These errors can cause serious injuries. Number 3. Mountain Climbing Mountain climbing is an extreme sport that requires courage and aims to explore the peaks of nature. This sport aims to experience the harsh conditions and spectacular views of the mountains, but it comes with serious dangers. Mountain climbing involves encountering harsh climatic conditions such as cold weather, wind, and heavy snowfall at high altitudes. Mountain climbing requires body endurance, stamina, and mental agility. During climbing, physical and psychological limits must be exceeded. Weather conditions in the mountains can change quickly. Storms, heavy snowfall, and frequent sudden weather changes can be dangerous for climbers. Decreased oxygen levels at high altitudes can cause altitude sickness in climbers. This discomfort can lead to headaches, nausea, dizziness, and more serious health problems. 
there is a danger of avalanches on snow-covered slopes in the mountains. This can be fatal for climbers. Dangerous areas such as rocky surfaces and ice crevices can be encountered on climbing routes. These areas pose a risk for falls and accidents. The ambition to reach the top can push climbers to make dangerous decisions without thinking. Number 2. Skydiving. Skydiving is an extreme sport that dreams of many adventure seekers. This sport involves free falling from a height and eventually landing safely on the ground with a parachute. Skydiving involves serious dangers while enjoying fascinating views and adrenaline-filled moments. Skydiving offers a high-speed freefall experience. Climbers can sometimes fall at speeds of up to 200 km per hour. Skydiving involves opening a parachute at the end of the fall. Correct parachute deployment and control is critical to the climber's safe descent. Malfunction of the equipment used for skydiving can endanger the climber's life. Therefore, the maintenance and reliability of the equipment is important. Wind speed and direction affect the parachutist's descent. Changing weather conditions can make landing points difficult for climbers. At higher altitudes, reduced oxygen levels can cause altitude sickness. Symptoms such as headache, nausea and dizziness may occur. Opening the parachute and losing control during descent can cause serious injuries. If more than one parachutist lands close to the same area, the risk of collision increases. Choosing a good landing site reduces the risk of injury after landing. Choosing the wrong landing site can be dangerous. Number 1. Base Jumping Base jumping is an activity preferred by those seeking adrenaline and is also considered one of the most dangerous extreme sports in the world. Base jumping involves free falling from high places, usually buildings, bridges, mountains, and cliffs. The word base represents the basic building blocks of this sport, building, building, antenna, training, span, bridge, and earth, earth. The risk of falling during base jumping is high. Short-term jumps and rapid descents can cause climbers to fall. Failure to open or malfunction of parachutes can lead to serious injuries or death. Weather conditions such as wind, precipitation and wind direction are critical for base jumping. Incorrect weather conditions can leave climbers in danger. Finding suitable landing spots for base jumping can be difficult. Narrow or dangerous landing points pose risks to climbers. Base jumping is prohibited or regulated in many countries. Lack of or violation of legal permits can have serious consequences. Lack of sufficient experience and training for base jumping can be dangerous. Jumping without proper training can have fatal consequences. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos.